men should know that women need affection. It's a primary need for women. And so we want to follow the example of the Prophet ﷺ. There was a reason that he encouraged spouses to hold hands and to feed one another from the same plate. Just like any other blessing, marriage can start to feel stale. We can, it can start to feel old. You can start to take it for granted. But these types of intimate gestures help reinvigorate the marriage. You want to take note of the five languages of love. There's a book out there that you can find that discusses the five languages of love. But a quick synopsis is that there's five ways that men and women show love to one another. Five ways all human beings show love to one another. And the way people show love is by providing service, by giving your time, by giving verbal praise and affirmation, by giving physical affection, and by giving gifts. These are the five languages of love. And you want to see which language of love your spouse is utilizing on you. If you have a different language of love, your spouse may not notice your language of love because they can't hear it because you're speaking a different language. And I'll give you a case in point. My love language is verbal affirmation. Big surprise. I'm big about talking, right, and telling people how much I appreciate them, writing about how much I appreciate them and love them. My husband's language of love is service. He doesn't talk much about how much he loves you. He's just quietly doing what needs to be done. And the times that my husband and I butt heads or we have a conflict, it's usually when we're speaking different languages of love and we're not hearing each other. So mine might be, you know, I made an effort to look nice and you didn't say anything about how pretty I look, or you didn't say anything about how delicious my food is that I made for you today. And an example of a time when he was frustrated with me was when I borrowed his car and I came back and the, and the gas tank was on empty because that's something he would never do. He would never leave me with an empty tank of gas. And so to him, it was a sign of inconsideration for me to overlook the fact that I was leaving him with an empty gas tank because he's all about service. So for me, in order to make sure that my husband feels loved, I have to get out of my comfort zone and do what I know my husband would do to show his love to me. And he gets out of his comfort zone, inshallah, and tries to make more of an effort of talking about things that I might want to hear from him. Another big need for women is the need for intimate conversation. They say that men fall in love with their eyes and women fall in love with their ears. And there's truth to that, that um, there's a reason women love poetry and there's a reason women love deep and intimate conversations and why they like to get on the phone with their friends and talk to them for a long time. Um, whereas husbands are just fine, you know, hearing the, the basic details of what's going on, um, the basic points and not going into too, too many details. So that's something for men to keep in mind, that women need intimate conversation and they need um, undivided attention when you are talking to them.